match against Alpha Century. And if we both want to have fun, if I know him, we're gonna both go for Undead and have some fun. Um, I don't even care. I'm challenging him with Undead. He probably knows that I'm challenging him with Undead. This is... I haven't played... I played this deck once against him, but he's one of the players I'm more comfortable with running Undead against. Wouldn't be surprised if he's watching the end of our match. Um, nope, we're in our match now. Okay. But I did get a... Oh, that's a kick-ass curve. One, two, three, four. He plays energy. Again. Um... I was really hoping he'd let me have some fun. Um, still, this can probably lose against automatons. Um, we'll see. Uh, this isn't gonna be great. He knows exactly what deck this is now that he saw the Ripper. So... He'll play well against it, I'm sure. Uh, I... I'm gonna have to use some top deck skills. Um, and that is, uh, hard-earned talent. But, if I can get an early board, I should be able to get this. Um, I think the proper decision is pop the Harvester. He's got too much spot removal. Uh, pack Husk here. And right, another option would have been to move up in a way. But this way I can choose what to kill, um, depending on what I draw. Um, or he can be a butt. That's another strategy. Uh, very valid. I hate it, um, because he's a butt. And now... I can go the suicide route. Um, flesh animator. This is much better, I think. And now we get to the point where we start having to spread it out a little bit. Uh, I want... Okay, they can either be in the front or the back. Shamblers love being pinned to uh, sides. They're easy to move. Ideally, it's on the back, but I don't want to have to move it to the back. Actually, that would have been doable with its countdown. But either one's an option. Um, I think it would have been better to move it backwards after thinking for about two seconds. Um, this guy, however, is a butt, too. Um, he is the second butt. Um, he's still at four resources, and he's playing more of a... no wait, he's... never mind. I'm dumb. Don't listen to me. I will just let that slap my idol. Um, I want my... to really get some good tempo on him. So, I'm gonna let that happen. See how much tempo... if I can gain tempo, if I can win tempo, I should be fine. That was a big mistake by him. Um, He's probably trying to provoke me into a Thunder Surge, and I'm totally going to fall for it now, by the way. Um, and we should... Which guy should we not... No, I should have this guy here, and this guy go up, and this guy not connected either. Um, this way, if and when... No, I wanted him to... I should have placed him one further up. Yes! Thank you, Iron Jesus. Um, this way, when we go up, this guy's safe. If I had if I had him in this corner, um, he, I would have been safe on either one. Uh, it, I'm not sure if I had moved... If I had already moved him... Yeah, I think it popped up here, so it was impossible. So this is the better square, because I, I get a chance. But he doesn't top-deck it, thank God. Um, so now we've got some serious shambler management to do. Or we can take out the middle idol and... No, I'm not going to go for that. I'm... I'm timid. What can I say? Um, definitely want to slap that. Uh, one out of three there. Not the best odds, not the worst odds. Uh, the hard part's going to be not completely crowding this board up. Uh, because that's something you do on accident with Undead a lot, and it's very difficult not to do it. So that one's guaranteed to move there. Have you moved already? You have. Poop. Um, 
So if I move him down one, what about you? No, you've already moved. You've already moved. You've already moved. I have 30 seconds. What's my first instinct move? It's put it there. There's probably smarter. Um, yeah, I would put it there, except for I'm totally setting myself up for Thunder Surge. I could... No, actually, I don't think he runs it. I haven't seen it played at all. I'm playing around a card that he shouldn't be playing around anymore. Um, I, he's never played it. Uh, so, if he plays it in this ge game, I should be very frustrated with him. Uh, that being said, I could totally look up his deck list right now. Um, I might. I might be doing that right now. Um, he, if he's edited it, I'm fairly certain... No, that's right, I know for a fact he doesn't run Thunder Surge, so... I don't need to look that up. I've seen it before. Uh, so let's... Not. And let's instead just concentrate on wrecking his face. So, he's probably afraid of this giant ass... No, 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 please no. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh. Yeah, Bombard's not ideal, but I I can accept this. Um, uh, radio. However, I could try to set up some... Yeah, I think we're going to go for the shenanigans on the side. But you go in here. It can't attack here. I'm fairly certain he doesn't run that. I'm gambling a lot now. Um, you have to know your opponent's deck with this... With Undead, you have to be comfortable with the meta, I think. Um, because you, you want to be able to read your opponent well. Unfortunately, I don't know the meta very well, um, which does make this a bit harder to play. Uh, I rem I was kind of in touch a little better with what was happening. That being said, this is going to be like the second time I've ever beaten this deck against a um, really strong player. Uh, assuming I win, which I'm confident in, but I shouldn't be as confident as I probably am. Uh, that being said... Oh, poop. That guy can move there. Oh, yes. Thank God. Okay. Yeah, this is what I mean by you gotta be good at top decking, too. Um, top decking skills are always helpful in Undead. Um, and you should practice them every day. Uh, so you have a lower countdown, but you're attacking. So this is probably a better place to go. Um, okay, so now now we can start to get somewhere. We can start setting up conduit plays. Uh, not sure if I definitely should not go for that idol though. Um. I don't do two. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can drop it to one countdown. Poop. Poop in a bucket. Um, or actually, why don't we just say... Um, if I can get... Because the thing is, I have six damage on that idol, right? So it might not be the worst idea ever. To deal 7 damage there. Take that one out and assume that I can get another Darkling. Um, and just Restless Bones. Take that out. He doesn't... Yeah, he can't possibly assume that I have... Um, that would be stupid to assume that your opponent has a shit ton of darklings. Um, so let, why don't we just do that? Um, that seems like a play. It's a weird ass play, but it's a play. Um, 
This is one of the strangest ways I've played Undead in ever. Um, I'm gambling that he'll let he'll sacrifice that top idol or let me deal significant damage to a bottom idol. He's probably assuming this idol's dead, as I would too if I were playing Undead. Um, I know that I have two Darklings in hand, so what I'm guessing is he's going to kill something... I'm guessing he will kill two of my things. That'll let me proc a Harvester. Now, I have no idea if that's actually happening. Yes, he's falling for my elaborate ruse. Okay. Swag. Um, yes, he's, he killed the wrong one. Uh, yeah. Oh, GG. Okay, that was great. Uh, yeah, I, th I saw the Darklings and assumed that he's gonna play that one as dead. That was a nice bluff. I'm actually kind of proud of that play. I'm really proud of that play if you didn't just notice. Um, looks like we're gonna be playing Zadrim next. Yeah. <laughs> okay, why not? Oh my god! Oh man, that was, yeah, those were great matches. Uh, the game's off the century. Um, oh man, okay. Let's try it. Oh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye.